Hey, what's up, people? Leo nda katu pigia tu story. As a youth man wa country, I believe ni kona ni kona wisdom. But sometimes si to me vile na What do I mean? Right now to go electioneering period. And uh, we are seeing so much happening in our streets, in our hoods, in the name of I want to stand, I want to fight for this post A, B, C, D, you know. And uh, as youths, we see a lot of people, I see a lot of people struggling out there, you know, to secure employment. The other day there was a uh, a position that was um, advertised Fale E Club because Thicker Road. Yeah, along Thicker Road up opposite Garden City. So they are asking only for some I guess two two posts and uh, so many people turned up to you know try their luck. From that state you could tell that a lot of people are struggling. And why is that? Well, partly, I think it's because of the leaders we elect. Why? Because they promise us goodies. So much so that we forget that we are not supposed to live only for today, but for tomorrow, the next day, and even for days to come. So they come to your hoods in the name of, I will build you a road. I'll feed you, I'll build you a, a bicycle shelter. <laughs> you know? But is that really enough? Can, can't we do our politics mature enough? You know? Policies. Policies that work. I think we are capable of doing that. Well, if, a, if someone comes to you with a hundred shillings, to bribe you then you're stupid because really what is a hundred bob is it even enough to buy you a bread a loaf of bread and milk it's not so why would you take a hundred and vote someone you know clearly they're on a path to destruction they are on other agendas to fulfill their dream at your own expense As youths, we have the power. 80%, I believe, in this country are youths. We hold the power, youth and women. So why do we keep being misled by these old folks? Clearly, we have the power. So, do you want to eat 100 shillings today? And then tomorrow, you are on the streets, lining up to look for a job, to try for a job that you know is already taken. Or do you want to eat a hundred bob every day for the foreseeable future? And by a hundred bob, I mean you want some income that you can depend on today, tomorrow, the next day, and even days to come. Yes. I know that is your answer because that is my answer too. So, we are, we are critical enough to think about someone who lied to you five years ago that they are going to do A, B, C, D for the youth and for our country as a whole. So then, this is my simple analogy. Let's do this. Every five years, we get to elect leaders. Can we sit them down and they can account for us what they've done during that period? What your MCA has done for you in your small area, in your small uh, whatever you come from? What has your MP done for you? What has your senator or governor done for you? Are we able to access these policies? Can we get 
civic education on what it entails, what these rules or what these laws mean to us. Can our governor point out what they've done for us during the five years, other than bickering and you know drama all over the social media? This should be all the questions that we should be lingering in our minds, expecting the best, because hey, who doesn't? They expect the best, so do we. So, again, hiyo mia moja, chukua leo, and know who you're voting for. They might not look like it, they might not have the money, but hey, give him a chance, or give her a chance. That newbie that has been, you know, coming to your hood asking for your vote, give them. After all, we've given this Mr. Popular votes for five years, and he has done nothing, so why not try out a new one? So many Williams and I believe Ile analogia it's my turn to eat. Well, not in a stupid way or a foolish way, but let it be a turn for that newbie who is uh, you know vying for a MCA post or a woman rep post. You know, let them try out. Maybe they have fresh ideas. I know the system is wicked, the system is crooked, but you know, you gotta believe. Change begins from the inside. So, weka wewe MCA muniwa hapo ndani, hata ya wacha akule hizo five years in a come. As pofanya anything tangible in five years. Let's weka mungine bana, Allah. Kwani, kuna mali meandikuwa that they are the only ones who are supposed to eat and eat and eat. How can someone vie for her? SNA government is it gubernatorial post for 10 years he's been a governor now because he simply doesn't have anything to do he wants to be a senator for another 10 years if we exercise if we exercise the it's my turn to eat slogan then in 20 years to have one four people who have you know sat on that post and I'm pretty sure out of the four at least one atafanya kitu for the youth. Mi nataka kuona mtu mwenye akiingia kwa hiyo post anashughulikia healthcare for real. You know, healthcare mashinani, mtaani. I believe this country has so much health, so many resources, but we choose to waste it. The evolution was a good thing. But so many people have politicized it and it has become you know a, a game to some people you know it has been ethnic ethnic it, it, it has been uh, you know ethnicized it is so it's not even worth talking about but we can we can do something as the people who have the power to effect change we hold the power to effect change. You know, um, Jemo William say in, in, in on a piece of interview I was, I was, I was, I was uh, watching on YouTube. Alisema, we can demand them to carry 10,000 shillings for each voter as a bribe. And I believed him. Because we have the power. Trust you me, akikuja na 500 shillings, kuseme tunataka 1,000, he'll find a way of coming with that 10,000, or 500, or 1,000 shillings. Iyo miya moja yake na 50 bobi yake, atarudi na ayo, atakuja na better money. What does that tell you? It tells you, we can say what we mean and mean it. I'm not advocating for corruption, but I'm saying, that is the power that we hold. But hey, who doesn't love money? Zikikuja, zikam. Izo ni zile pesa zenye walikuwa na fakfanya nazo projects they've been sitting around with. Wanataka kukubribe nazo. So take them. Take the money. Eat it. Kula yo pesa. Eh. Kula yo pesa without any guilt. And you know what? Vote for that person you feel or you think or you know at least is going to effect one thing out of the ten promises they make.
you know, build five stadiums in five months, et cetera, et cetera. You know, make universal, make health universal, you know, things like that. Mimi, I am thinking from a layman, from, from a layman's point of view. Picture this, if one governor or one MP built a world class, not even, okay, let's know, let's not say world class, build one hospital in each county, in their, in each constituency in their county, one hospital, what does that mean? It means if county A has 10 constituencies, we have 10 hospitals. What does that mean? It means people from constituency A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, will have to go to their hospitals in that vicinity, in that in, in that con, con, constituency. They will not have to go all the way to Kenyatta, all the way to Parklands, all the way to Mpisha, Nairobi Hospital, traveling miles and miles. Imagine you're a, you're, 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 you're a patient and you're, you're being, you know, shipped from Kakamega to Nairobi or from Mandera to Nairobi to come get treatment. Yet that is something that, you know, should be basic by now. This is 2022, not 1922. So I, I think we have the power. And as leadership, we should hold ourselves accountable once elected. You know? Do at least one of the things you promise you'll do. Give us good health care. That is all we need to work. Because without good health care, we're doing nothing. At least give us good education. We know that we have. Kenya is a very educated um, Kenya has a very educated people. And so, to party healthcare. So imagine, out of the 300 and something constituencies we have in Kenya, if each one had a, a hospital that its people could go to, hmm, won't we have a healthy nation? That is all we ask for. You steal our money, Manzeo. You steal our money. But at least do something with it. Don't just invest in foreign banks. Don't just build the buildings in Dubai. You know, earn monies. Mm -hmm. Drive big machines. We're not saying it's bad. But hey, when it's stolen money, then it's bad. But it is, it is when it's your money, well and good. But hey, don't steal from the poor Kenyan who earns 30,000 shillings and pays tax so that you can go and uh, you know enjoy your life in Dubai. How, what does that, how, does, how do you sleep at night when you know you've stolen from some poor person? Come on, people. Let's have a conscience. And so, I know this is a rant. But at least I know this is my rant. In this electioneering period, I'm going to choose someone I've never chosen before, someone new. You know, weka weka imani wanze, weka imani apo. Eh, sasingine we all need to be, you know, told that we can do it, and we will do it. So mina minia, whoever you are in my constituency. Dagoreti South. Oh, sorry. Dagoreti North. Takueka ndani. Kama weni mgeni na kueka ndani. So, again, my people, the youth man and the women, vote wisely. Kuleni yo pesa campaign. Kula vizuri sana. Siwache, atiwe utakula vi, we uchukua gihongo apana. Kula yo pesa. Chukua yo pesa. Kesho na kesho kutua na leo wakikuja chukua. Lakini yecheki. Voti yako. Weka mahali unataka. Si mahali unambiwa juu wapewa 50 bob. Ama 100 bob. Let's try to see. Whether if we teach them a lesson by not voting them because they gave us money. If things will change. 
I do believe there is a change because if ukieka corruption, corrupt person A kwa office for five years na ha perform, the next election tumtoe, tuweke mwingine, this mwenye mingi ata learn because, eh, wali mtoa because, because he didn't do anything. So, this newbie will try to do something so that he gain, he gets the other five years. If we kept doing that for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, our leaders will become accountable. One by one. Because change is bound to happen. So if we want change, we should be the change we want to see in the world. By not electing the same old people over and over again. Because for the, lo for the longest time, if you ask me, I've known... Mr. Vitendawili, since I was a baby, he's been there vying for the top office. Same old story. But hey, Sierra Tupatie Nini, Jemule Mse Bana, Tim Mafisi Party, Kit Ajaribu Bana. Eh? Because hey, Maze, to, to, let's, let's give this leadership to the youth, Bana. At least to one of the Nini. Eh, to Siseme, we want the youth to do ABCD. Wakio uko chini kwa ground. Uko chini, uko chini kabisa. Ana, let them sit at the top. Tuwane watafanya nini. Because tumeona waze. Wanafanya vitu zao. Na vijana ni wanatumika. So, manze tu avoidi mambo. So, come the election period in August. Let's see change. Alafu, min, to maintain peace, manze, tupendane, yani, mi hata, mi, mimi na shanga, mi ushanga when it comes to elections, ati jirani yako, ndo najua gaini tribe A, apana, to school evil. At my workplace, I only know of person A. Sijui tribe A, or tribe B. I only know person A, person B, and C. So, tuendele kujuana evo. Kenya is, is, a, is a nation of love, manze. So, elections, zisi tufanya tu, tufanya ile kitu tulifanya tu or seven, haikuwa poa. So, tupendane, wenye tunelea kupendana, eh, to educate others about, you know, how to vote wisely. Eh, pale kwa ballot pia, manze, wekia ule ni ukama mwenye unawa, atafanya ile kitu. Ata kama mweke manze, ata kaa kona policies tatu, hizo ndio tunataka, ata ki policies miya moja, na zero is done, si, zero is implemented. Yeah. Pati ulea kona tatu at least, aki skip one two, ata fanya three bana. Yeah. We want to move as a nation together into the future. To see move to koko future, watu wengine wako present, watu wako wanaenda. Anyway, yo, that is enough rant for today. Cheki, mina la kuna reaction yani. Reaction, come to the 2022 ballot. Fanya ile kitu, yani tulifanya tu otu. Tulingiza mjamali, fanya ile kitu manze, yali grow economy yetu. Eh? Ah, ingine ya nyomu ingia sai. Kidogo! Wanasema economy me grow, but misi tambui, miyadi si feel yani, unajua. But hey, that is me. And with that few remarks, I wish you a very good week ahead. Kila mtu atafutea idi yake, na tu vote manze. Let's go out and vote, because that is the power that we hold. Adios.